formation of male gametes a typical stamen has two parts the long and slender stalk called the filament and terminal bilobed structure called the anther the proximal end of the filament is attached to the thalamus or the petal of the flower Careful observation of anthers from different flowers under dissecting microscope shows an interesting range in shape, size and attachments. It has a column of sterile tissue called the connective on either side of which is anther lobe. Each lobe has two microsporangia separated by a sterile tissue. Externally, the partition can be often be made by deep longitudinal grooves. At maturity, the two sporangia in a lobe join together due to the breakdown of partition between them. The mature anther wall comprises an epidermis followed by a layer of endothecium, two or three middle layers, and a single layer tapetum. These are the innermost layer of anther wall. They attains their maximum development at the tetrad stage of microsporogenesis. It surrounds the sporangious tissue completely. It has a considerable physiological importance because all the food materials of the sporangious tissue must pass through it. Endomitosis is a type of mitosis in which the chromosome duplication and chromatid separation takes place within the intact nuclear membrane and without the formation of a spindle. The result is large polyploid nucleus in uninucleate tapetum of cucurbita nuclei of four sizes corresponding to the degree of ploidy 2n. 4n, 8n and 16n are formed as a result of mitosis. When the anther is young, a group of compactly arranged homogeneous cells called the sporogenous tissue occupies the center of each microsporangium. Each cell of the sporogenous tissue is capable of giving rise to a microspore tetrad. The process of formation of microspores from a pollen mother cells through meiosis is called microsporogenesis. Inside each microsporangium, several thousands of microspores or pollen grains are formed that are released with the dehiscence of anther. Pollen grains are generally spherical measuring about 25 to 50 micrometers in diameter. It has a prominent two-layered wall. The hard outer layer is called exine, which is made up of sporopollenin, the most resistant organic material known. Pollen grain exine has prominent apertures called germ pores, where sporopollenin is absent. The inner wall of the pollen grain is called the intine. It is a thin and continuous layer made up of cellulose and pectin. The cytoplasm of pollen grain is surrounded by a plasma membrane. When the pollen grain is mature, it contains two cells, the vegetative cell and generative cell. The vegetative cell is bigger, has abundant food reserves with a large irregularly shaped nucleus. It is spindle shaped generative cell is small with a nucleus and dense cytoplasm.